a lot of updates, a lot of changes, just a lot of things going on here. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here at Universal Studios Florida. What do you say we step inside this park and see what's new? One change since we were last here, Mardi Gras is over. As such, the Mardi Gras medallion has been removed and we are back to regular Universal Studios Park music. And this is one of the weekends for Grad Bash. A way for graduating high school seniors to celebrate, have a good time in the theme parks. The parks do close early on certain nights for them, but also you'll see a lot of them around during the daytime as well. The next upcoming dates for Grad Bash would be Friday, April 19th, Saturday, April 20th, and then again on Friday, April 26th. Want more evidence that it's Grad Bash season? Well, Maxi the Taxi is gone. Not saying these high school students would get into some tomfoolery regarding the car here, but it has been removed for Grad Bash. Feel free to draw your own conclusions. But before you draw that conclusion, another piece of evidence. All of the cars by Mel's drive-in have also been removed. There will be no tomfoolery with the cars here during Grad Bash. And while we're at Mel's, I'll mention what the heck's about to happen here? We've got some hot set barricades up, a couple of director's chairs. Well, this is just curious, isn't it? Maryland and the Diamond Bellas have been removed from New York City. Their new home is here on Hollywood Boulevard at Mel's Drive-In. Uh, they also, they've added back, um, I think, Candyman to the routine. And it's gonna look a lot better, like when the cars are here, because this has a 50s look. And you know, Marilyn was the darling of the 50s. Uh, this show will start in about 15 minutes, so let me show you a few more updates until Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas get here. Well, look at this, the Mardi Gras store. It did not linger. It's closed down, they've taken away the facade and everything, oh my goodness. But, coming soon, the Summer Tribute Store. Inside of the Five and Dime. I've shown you the new HHN merch before, these orange t-shirts. They are now offering a black t-shirt as well. It's the same design, but instead of the orange, they have the black. A bunch of cool stuff behind glass here. I want to point out though Earl the Squirrel for $300 but there's some other cool things in here I don't know what is this from that may be from pumpkin seeds maybe Halloween Horror Nights I don't know but yeah some cool stuff over here and on the other side I think we have some Mardi Gras stuff oh yeah the welcome boards $300 each for the uh, SS songbird signs and the fence was how much this is 200. 200 for the Mardi Gras fence. Just a couple of regular Mardi Gras items you can buy here. 70% off for the mug and also the pass holder baseball style t-shirt is on sale and offered here at uh, the Five and Dime. There is a skirt here for $55. I probably shouldn't show it to you because this is the last one. A Beetlejuice inspired skirt. Also, I should mention, come May, here in the Five and Dime, there will be pass holder buttons being given out. And it's been a while since Universal has handed out buttons. They've been doing magnets, but not buttons. But come May, pass holders, Five and Dime, get your button. I don't think the park is so crowded today, but the line for the Simpsons is super long. I don't know if I've ever seen the line this long for the Simpsons. And on like a, a less crowded day too. For a moment, I thought that long line was for Beetlejuice, but no, no one is in line for him. So much today, Bobby. <laughs> God, that's two in 30 minutes. Oh, I know. Well, I thought that it's for the Simpsons over there, not you. They're still in your thunder. Bad for them. They're bringing them oranges. They clearly have screwed. <laughs> I don't know if you heard what Beetlejuice said, but he said, that's twice in 30 minutes. He's referring to an IG reel and a YouTube short that I just recorded with him. So hopefully you guys have already seen that. If not, I'll leave a link to it. Before Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas can perform, we have this high school band marching through from Madison, Alabama. I 
We've made it back here for showtime. Oh, they've added this back in. Where they pull a guy from the crowd. Yes. So there you go, the new home of Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas with the return of the Candyman, that audience participation, and a few choreography changes from the way they did the show over there in New York. We have Dora over here doing a meet and greet, driving down the road, Shaggy in the mystery machine. Shaggy barely made the light. This lighting rigging, and I think there's a stage up there. That's for a grad bash. But more permanent changes I have to tell you about. Cafe La Bamba. No longer used as a lunch spot. That is permanent until they tell them otherwise. So that little Mexican lunch spot, no more. And even bigger changes over here at Central Park Crepes. They have really cut back on the menu here. Only three options. Just one savory, the chopped tripletta, which I really like tripletta, so I think I might try that. And then two sweet, the cookie butter and the strawberry hazelnut, but just three options at one of the best little food kiosks you're gonna find in a theme park. Next thing you know, they will only be offering two crepes, one sweet, one savory. I hope it doesn't come to that. And there are construction walls around the Coke Freestyle Station that is here at Central Park Crepes. We've seen Universal do this before at other locations, enhancing the Coke Freestyle locations. Over here near the Transformers Supply Vault, even more set enhancement construction walls. I, for one, appreciate all the time, effort, and money Universal is putting into the park here. I heard some loud banging over here at the location of the construction here in the lagoon for the nighttime cinematic spectacular but once I got over here it stopped I don't know what they were doing during the last live stream we caught the troller coaster being tested will we be so lucky today yes yes we will there it goes I'm gonna hang out here another minute see if we can catch it again and here it goes again There's two things I'm sure about regarding Halloween Horror Nights. One is that Springfield will not be a scare zone. No scare actors in Springfield. And the other thing I feel pretty rock solid about is that the quiet place will be a haunted house. Some people are wondering how quiet place could work as a haunted house. Well, here's what you need to know. I think a new movie's coming out in June. Quiet Place Day One. And day one, people didn't know to be quiet. I do have one more thing to say about Halloween Horror Nights. A rumor, if you will. And that's why 
despite the speculation map having Dracula, I still have hope for the creature from the Black Lagoon. Like, why else would a big giant boat be there? I think we have a new item for purchase here in the Wizarding World. Let's see if we can find it. Right across the street from Leicester Square, this little green merchandising cart has it. For $79, a night bus purse. There's the front. There's the back. Not much to that. So let's look at the front again. But there you go. And hey, right over there, the real night bus. Well, I hate to do it, but I have to call Butterbeer season a dud. The only thing so far that they've done special is add some Butterbeer caramels. Like, that's it. Nothing more. All the high school seniors creating a moderately high level crowd today. It's a 45 minute wait for Gringotts. Let's step on into San Francisco. And since I was last here, they have shut down Shea Alcatraz. They have erected their temporary bar. We're hoping this will reopen by the 4th of July weekend. Well, it's not shark themed, but they did give them a little facade here, sort of. Uh, the roof is something to be desired. Just a bunch of umbrellas. This will not work well in the rain. You know, the rain's just gonna roll off those umbrellas and down there, they'll have to close for the rain. They told me they should be getting like a real legit tent, um, like Monday. So, <laughs> they just gotta survive until then. They did get like a nice sign here. A nice Shea Alcatraz sign. And they have a very nice menu board. So, you know, that's something. Let's just hope these guys get their uh, get their actual tent up by the next time we visit. In honor of their temporary bar, which we think they're going to need a bigger bar, an off-menu drink called one of those two things. Can you say what's in this? So yeah, so we got some great uh, 44 North Nectarine vodka in there. Uh -huh. We got some orange juice, Sprite, and some triple sec. Nice okay. fresh and summer spring drink for you. A way to beat the heat, and you guys are going to need it if they don't give you an actual tent. Although I have a feeling it's going to get warm inside the tent too. Yeah. I was here as they were mixing things up and finally agreed on the final concoction. And it is pretty delicious. A couple more things about the drink as we're naming it. It's going to cost $19.17, and don't we just love the color of the drink? Before we leave this Shea Alcatraz area, people have already asked me, but yes, the photo opportunity with the shark is still here. It's just around the corner, so people can't see it from the street. So probably less people coming back here to get the photo. So now you guys can get your photo with Bruce the Shark with a little shorter wait. The scrim by the San Francisco restrooms still there, as are the walls. In fact, the walls are expanding. <laughs> They've grown to the end of this sidewalk now. Actually, they go all around the Ghirardelli's building now. Love that chocolate, by the way. Seriously, the Ghirardelli squares with the caramel inside is my new favorite candy, eclipsing the old favorite of the Reese Cups. I'm sorry, I should have said the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. But anyway, Fast and Furious, a 10 minute wait. As I was hanging out near Shea Alcatraz, a viewer came up, gave me this t-shirt. They said they thought it would make a funny t-shirt and she was correct. It is a very funny t-shirt. Stepping into New York City, some more construction walls. These right in the middle of the street where the Latin dance party usually is. Therefore, they have moved the dance show closer to Delancey Street. Like this is the area they'll do it in now. With the construction walls, you can even see where they're cutting up the asphalt. This street here, which takes you to the Transformers attraction, 
behind its construction walls a lot of heavy equipment as they prepare for that cinematic nighttime show they only have a couple more months to get this ready for our summertime fun well i suppose it doesn't have to be done for early summer could be done by mid or late summer i'm not super hungry at the moment so what i think i'm going to do pop into finnegan's and show you one of my favorite appetizers in the park plus i'll save a little money by not getting an entree this is the guinness warm three cheese dip for ten dollars and 95 cents fresh baked soft pretzel sticks served with guinness cheese dip all done with my snack and i know these are quick food reviews but this is going to be ludicrous speed i mean after all they were just pretzel sticks here's the thing they come with salt so i don't like a lot of salt on mine so just knock it off with my finger uh, so you can do the same thing adjust your salt level uh, for your big soft pretzel sticks by the way really soft and the uh, the dip it's not like a nacho cheese it's a guinness cheese so it, it's more I want to say hearty than like a nacho cheese and the color of it makes it seems like it might be like a like a brown mustard but it's not it's still a cheesy taste <laughs> but anyway i always like to pop in there uh when i want a snack and get those pretzel sticks just grab a spot at the bar so it's like no big deal and get those and move about my day not so hungry anymore now we need to make our way back to Shea Alcatraz because as I was sitting in Finnegan's, I was texting Murph about the new drink. He had a question about it. So I'm going to go get the answer right now. I texted my buddy Murph. He wants to know, does it come with a show? Oh, no. No show. <laughs> no show for the new <laughs> Got to order the ocean attack for the show. That's right. It's getting summertime. It's ocean attack season, baby. So there you have it from Josh the bartender. No show with that new special off-menu drink. For lunch, it was a 20-minute wait for the mummy. After lunch, a 35-minute wait. Well, this is where Marilyn and the Diamond Bellas used to perform, but we now know they're doing it at Mel's Drive-In. And I was told that move is permanent. And one reason why they made the move, a lot of stuff happens here in New York City. We've got the Blues Brothers going on, the Latin dance shows going on right now. And then uh, also you have the beat builders around the corner. So just a lot of stuff going on here. So Marilyn packed her bags and moved to Beverly. Oh my goodness, look at this. Over here at Music Plaza. They are already setting up for Halloween Horror Nights. The extended queue for the haunted house. Just kidding, just kidding. Undoubtedly, this is for the grad bash. Like some type of performance is gonna happen here for that. It's way too early for HHN extended queues. There must be some type of team member sale or something going on inside the Brown Derby. They keep walking around the back and then coming out through that door there with like bags of merchandise or something. I'm just happy the Brown Derby's being used for something. I know a lot of my viewers like to watch my videos on Sundays. That's why I am posting this on a Sunday. But I have also created a special playlist of my last five videos. There is a link to that playlist in the description box. It is also what is popping up on your screen right now. Easy access to the last five videos that I did.